Hello there everyone, so you guys knew that this video was coming today, but oh boy have I enjoyed reading through the DML Facebook page today. So today I'm going to be going on about some of the comments towards the recent Rosie Outlook event and why most of the people that are commenting specifically on this post here by the DML Facebook page and why most of them are mentally retarded. So, to start off, we are going from top to bottom of the comment section, and we have Who said you cannot do a happy dance on a Monday? Me and I'd estimate about 70% of players who couldn't get anywhere near the last dragon. I thought with 2.5 days left, I'd at least have a chance. As usual, failed because of the inane slowdown of rewards as the event progresses. These events are the worst. I get it, you need to make money, but hoping that people will pay your silly prices for dragons they've missed is just ruining things for those of us who can't afford it or refuse to spend good money on rubbish software. Followed by, stop play it if you can't buy it. <laughs> and then the final person said, I finished this event without spending a penny with more than one day to spare. And how do you expect them to give you a game if they don't earn from it? They're not doing charity, you know. Okay, guys, so obviously that's a lot of mentally challenging retardation to deal with, but... For a start, we've got this random number of 70% of players, you know, that's, that's just pulled out of your ass, mate. No offense, but you have absolutely no idea, okay? And with 2.5 days left, he thought he'd at least have a chance, but as usual, failed. And that's the most important part about this comment here, because it seems to be the people that have failed on past events are adamant that they can't do it and seem to make themselves fail just to prove a point or something. I don't know, but these sorts of people are the ones that don't even give the events a chance. And finally, of course, we've got everyone will pay your silly prices for dragons they've missed is just ruining things. And, you know... These two people here don't understand the fact that the event is extremely doable without spending any money on the game at all. I mean, I specifically did tier guide videos for every single tier of this event just to prove that point to you guys. So, you know, if you really want to see the event done without having a single cent spend on it, pretty much. Like, I didn't put anything extra on apart from the clam that I already had. But if you want to see that, you go watch every single one of my tier event guides and you will realize that I was not around for a few days. So just shut up. Seriously. You're so People are so stupid these days. But anyway, second string of comments. This event was pathetic. The creators are getting more greedy as time goes on. And I'm not playing anymore. It's not worth it. I'm tired of spending money and still can't get it. And they made it impossible goals, especially towards the end. Since I started buying gems, now I no longer can get the weekly special dragons. The events are ridiculous, and I think they purposely turn things off so I don't get it, so I will buy it. Oh, jeez. Just... What? Oh, you... These sorts of people hurt my brain! Oh, okay, so this person's saying, it's not worth it and you're tired of spending money and you still can't get it. If you are someone... That spends money and puts a ton of gems on the game for these solo events and you don't finish the solo events still, I'm going to let you in on a, a little secret. You are ridiculously stupid because you can do it without spending money. So if you are doing it with spending money and still can't finish, I literally don't know what you're doing. Either you are not looking up any guides or you are like mentally dis like handicapped in some fashion. I don't understand how you can have so much of an issue with these events. It's literally just go over to a habitat, click it. Oh, look, I get an item. What is so bloody hard about that? Jesus bloody Christ. Oh. And then, to top it all off, he says, Since I started buying gems, I can no longer get the weekly special dragons. They turn things off so I don't get it. Oh my god, are you... <laughs> This is like someone saying, hey, look, because I didn't instantly breed the Dragon of the Month, that means that Gameloft are rigging my game so that they can get more money. Just, no, I've literally got nothing else to say. You're just retarded, okay? This game is fun until you realise the contests are impossible. 
unless you are willing to spend money on lots of it. Love the game, but we need a level playing field here. These events are no longer that fun. I used to be that you had a chance at getting the prize dragons. Now, unless you are able to go onto the game every hour, there's no chance. Oh my god. So, for a start, this person doesn't understand the concept of the, uh, the item pools very well. And secondly, they were another person saying, you have to spend money to do it. Go watch my entire series, you stupid cows. Oh my god. Series. It's just the same crap by people that don't understand how to do things over and over and over and over. And you're so brain dead. Seriously. And this person said, you used to be having a chance at getting the prize dragons. The events haven't changed that much. I mean, obviously, they used to be less tears, but... All in all, the quests and that for the solo events are more or less the same as they used to be. And I had the same chance of finishing the solo events years ago to what I do today. So another completely mute and invalid point, like, taken out of someone's throat and just, like, projectile vomited blatantly stupid stuff all over my screen is what's happened. And then we've got... The event was good, but at the end it was much, much harder. I mean, level up dragons 50 times? I couldn't finish the event because I barely got any item when I level up a dragon. Windows Phone, by the way. Well, you know, if you're using fire dragons at level 1 to level up, then it shouldn't cost you food at all. This is someone not using the correct tactics for the event, just outright. And them saying that for the final tier, leveling up dragons was the tough one. No, the collecting gold was the longest part of that tier, not the leveling up of dragons. So it's it's like people complaining about things. They're complaining about the wrong things when they do. You could say other stuff about the event. Oh, I don't think this works too well for lower level players introducing the dungeon, or I don't think gifting friends should be implemented in case people don't want to add people in game. That's fine to say, but to say that the event was bad because of this thing that wasn't the problem makes you look stupid. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I was only able to get up to the Sunflower Dragon. These events never last long enough for you to get all of the dragons without throwing something in the way. Retarded. I managed to get both dragons in just a nick of time. I had about five hours left of the event when I got my Rosie. As for the event, I really enjoyed it. It was one of the timeline events that I actually finished. In fact, I missed almost two days on this event because of work and just not being very active on the game. And I still managed to get both of the new dragons. Thank you, Game Lord, for making this event. I'll be patiently awaiting for your next one. And this person here brings up a very good point. Same as what happened to me. I missed out on like two to two and a half days worth of resets. And so did this person here. And they still finished it without spending stuff. Because that's the whole point. You can miss out on like three days worth of resets and still finish off the solo events. That's, that's the beauty of it. If you have a 9 to 5 job, you'll miss out on like two resets a day. But that's okay. Because at the end of the day, you'll be able to make up for it if you have any other spare time. If you don't want to put the effort in to do it, that's your own fault. But don't moan at other people that have put in the effort just because you're lazy. Not a chance in hell did I get it. One token every blooming hour. Yeah, cheers for that game loft. Leveling up, leveling up dragons took me three days on its own. <laughs> Again, these people aren't using the correct dragons. Because if you're using level one fire dragons, if you're breeding wind and fire dragons together for the hybrid quest, you get stuff done instantly. And sometimes the pools take three, four, five hours to fully reset. So you don't have to come back every hour to your game. You can come back every five hours to your game in that instance and not miss out on any resets. But these people obviously haven't checked the guides, haven't thought about it for a, like a good two seconds in their head. But, you know, and oh my god, this comment thread here literally made me laugh way too much. I'm going to sue your company for scam. You never answer my emails. My game is wrong. It gives me absolutely nothing. I do not get dragons or pieces or recipes. I've invested money and I'm sick of you. I have asked to check my game a thousand times and I never receive an answer. All the time I get common recipes. I never get legendary recipes. I never get a dragon of the week. 
I'm level 110. I know what's lucky, and I know my game is wrong. Check it out, or I'm going to sue you. Okay, guys, let, let's have a show of hands. Who actually believes that this guy is level 110? And if he is actually level 110, it's obvious that he's never, ever understood the concept of chance in this game, ever. I mean, he said, all the time I get common recipes, never legendary. You know, it's just luck-based, it's not Gameloft is targeting you in particular. You know, this is that whole, like, god complex that people have. You are targeting me because I am the most important person in the whole entire world! Why does Gameloft hate me in particular? You know, that is something that people really need to work on in their life. If you think a game company is specifically targeting you, you have something mentally wrong with you. Go check- go get yourself checked out at a psychiatrist's office or something. You know, if- if your god complex is that- that bad, you know, I think you might have some problems in life. Just to be honest with you. And then, I just barely got the ladybug dragon in time. Almost impossible to get the last dragon. And then, I complete this event two days before and very happy. Thanks, Gameloft! You see, this is the difference in the comments here. And yet the one that spurts out complete crap is the one that gets more likes just because people are, Oh, well, I didn't do it, so this event's impossible again. Shut up. I just barely got the ladybug in time. If that's the case, then you could have missed out on like four to five days worth of resets and still gotten the ladybug. That just shows a complete lack of understanding of how the events work. Sorry, but it's you that needs to work on how you complete the events. It's not a game loft issue at that point. And it is not almost impossible to get the last dragon at all. I can prove that to you. Hundreds and thousands of people can prove that to you. But obviously those sorts of people aren't going to look into evidence that goes against what they already believe. So, you know. I guess it's a mute point at the end of the day. And then this whole set of comments here. Have to spend money equals deletion. It's one thing if you spend it because you want to. It's another when it becomes mandatory. Oh my god. You know, just reading that top play. It's not mandatory to spend anything. Oh my god. Didn't get it in last day. Too hard to get 12 babies. Keep getting 9 12 hour eggs. Again, not breeding the correct dragons. When having to breed so many dragons, I always go for the ones with the shortest breeding time. In future events, simply breed fire and wind dragons together during the tiers, requiring elemental hybrids. The only possible outcomes are smoke and bee. You can do rapid fire breeding this way, making the event portions of these events a breeze. And then, thanks a lot for the idea, but it says you must breed with two or more elements. Wind and fire are just with one element, or I'm wrong. And then finally, you are wrong. It's not the breeding dragons that need the two elements, it's the baby dragons you get. So fire and wind is the way to go. And you see, the pe this person here is an example of why people complain about the events. They just simply don't understand what the events are about. And like this person has completely misinterpreted what the breed elemental hybrids actually means. And so, then people just assume that it's something Gameloft have done wrong and not themselves, and then just go, Oh, yo, stupid game, you can't breed that many dragons in a day. You can. It's something you're doing wrong. If you can't finish the events or even get close to finishing, you are the one doing something wrong, not the company. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but you are the one making the mistake. You need to fix it if you want to do these events. And then, unless you sit there 24-7, there's no way to get them all. I mean, come on, for tier 8, you've got to breed 12 hybrids? That could take days. And again, another person that doesn't understand this breeding elemental hybrids. Where have people got this misconception from? Literally, it's so easy to do that. That was one of the shortest ones for those tiers. Why are people complaining about this? And then we have someone saying, breed, fire, and wind. Yes, that's what I did. But you still need to play every half hour to an hour, which is hard for people who work full time. Again, using the excuse, people that work full time are so disadvantaged. That's not Game Loss fault. That's your life's fault. Don't blame a company when you come in after your 9 to 5 job, which is only relevant to you, 
and then you don't want to go and play the game. That's your fault. It's not the company's fault. For everyone else that doesn't have a 9 to 5, maybe they have a 6 a.m. till 5 p.m. job. They can still do it. It doesn't matter. It's a poor excuse. End of that. And then this one here actually has a picture. I want this dragon, but it's very difficult to get it without spending money. So this isn't relevant to the solo event, but this is relating to the new legendary apocalypse, which has become available as part of the, the clan card packs. And, you know, I have complained before that the requirements for getting these dragons are <clears throat> literally way too high. 30 pieces in a week is too high. And without having an increased chance, I agree, it is imbalanced. But, the reason I spent money on card packs for the Kitty Dragon was to prove to you guys, it doesn't matter whether you spend money or not, your chances are still abysmal. So to say it's difficult to get without spending money is actually incorrect, because when I tried it out, I didn't get a single piece even when I did spend money. So that's the point. Don't complain about it requiring you to spend money, because you actually don't have to. And then finally, I like these events, but still I think it's merely possible to get everything on time. I had the biggest problems with getting money. Every time my habitats were full, I got maximum 5 of the flowers for 29 of habitats, and had to wait to get them full again. You'd have to get no sleep or have someone to help you with collecting items for the quest. And, uh, you know, just that last line makes me want to push my brain into the wall and just start headbanging profusely. You'd have to get no sleep or have someone help you. Well, guess what? I didn't lose any sleep and I didn't have someone help me and I still finished off the event. To say something so outright, you must get someone to help you or spend money. That is where my issue lies. If you're someone that says that, I'm sorry, but you are retarded. You need to rethink your stance because you are just stupid. You don't go on the guides. You don't use the correct methods. You misinterpret what the quests require you to do. And then you blame someone else for it. It's your fault if you misinterpret. I'm sorry. But breeding elemental hybrids, it seems pretty obvious to myself and a lot of people what that means. If you don't think that, I'm sorry, but that's your own fault. Okay? Obviously, I've ranted before, but these are just a few of the examples of comments on that Facebook page. And the first one that I showed you that has 13 likes makes me want to gag. Seriously, the people that like this, you need to watch something to help you. If you struggle with the events, look up how to do them. Don't just sit there and go, well, I wasn't sure how to do it, so it's Game Loft's fault that I didn't finish it off. No! You're stupid if you think that. Look, you guys know how many of these event dragons I get. If I don't finish an event, I feel like I've done badly. It's not Game Loft's fault if I don't finish it. Apart from the very rare instances, or the... I can understand why people didn't finish off the first castle event. Don't get me wrong, that was... A very, very, very tough event. We still did it. But I understand why other people didn't. But people complaining about this particular solo event that seemed to be extremely simple and very easy is the one that people are complaining about again. Obviously, people complain every time, but it's just, why complain about this one? This one didn't have that many issues. It didn't have that many bugs. Look. I just wish I could post my opinion and their retardation to every single one of the people on the Facebook DML page, but, you know, I, th I doubt that will go well, but, like, there's angry reactions, annoyed people, so <sighs> these people need a reality check. And I want to help people, but make sure that during the event times you are going onto the DML wiki you are clicking on the events and seeing what the guides say. How? Why would you not do that? And then people go, but I just want to do it on my own. Well, then you're going to be at a disadvantage. If you want to do it without any guidance, any understanding of the event, then don't expect to finish. 
because you should have to require some level of skill for the only thing in DML that is actually even hard in any way. And if you think the events are too hard or don't work for your day-to-day -day schedule, then guess what? Don't do them. But that's something that you have chosen not to do, not the rest of the player base. And 70%, that arbitrary made-up number pulled out of someone's ass, isn't true. So, you know, it's just ridiculous. And uh, I just wanted to go through some of that today as per usual with you guys. And, uh, you know, last time people got angry with me just because I was like, Hey, don't be so rude to people. Yeah, well, they are attacking this company for their own mistakes. And that's the issue. I don't want Gameloft changing how they operate their events when their events actually work fine just because some idiot retards don't understand what breeding means, you know? But anyway, for now, I've even made my own voice hurt. Thank you for being here if you still are. And if you do need any help with the events, please, please ask. Please watch my entire tier guide walkthrough slash gameplay of it. That's the whole reason that I made it for anyone that isn't sure what to do so they can go and watch it and find out whether that's now or in the future doesn't matter but please go and watch it if you don't understand but anyway guys for now thank you very much for watching if i see you rambling crap in the facebook page i will be putting your comment up and showing everyone else what an idiot you are so don't don't think you're not susceptible to it but until next time i will see you then